Hey friends and welcome to the wishing clock. I have a ridiculously huge Goodwill bins outlet haul for you today. Um, it actually is cumulative from three different hour long trips that I did this week and there's a lot of really really good stuff. Um, I'm going to jump in first off with the items that I found this morning and then we'll kind of go back in time with each one. Um, I do have all three of my receipts and I've added up totals um, just because it seems like you guys like the numbers and the information. And so this bins haul is 83 items. I spent $125.90 on all of these items and that ends up making my cost per item $1.51, which is fabulous. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and just jump right into it. It's going to be a long one, but that's okay. <laughs> So first off, you probably saw these in the thumbnail, and this is my first time finding Zarina. Um, these are just a beachy pull-on pant in a floral. Um, I was looking at comps for these just because I've never sold this brand before, and it does look like comps are anywhere from 35 to 85, just depending on style, size, and wear. So, you know, um, we'll list them around 65 and see what happens. Next, I did find some Gymshark, and it's just one of their cropped, vented workout tops, and it does say Gymshark on the back, and of course, it has their thumb holes, which I believe should be on every single long sleeve ever made because it's just comfy, <laughs> but I know some people don't like them, so yeah. Gymshark again, these have the big old pockets on the side and they are an extra small as well. So probably from the same person. Very cute, nice olive green color. And then they do have mesh on the back of the cups as well. And then this guy is Everlane in a size large. Very cute, I don't know if it's a silk or Vought. Let's see. I didn't check the interior tag when I picked it up. I was just excited to find it. Oh, well, there isn't an interior tag, so it's a good thing I didn't spend a lot of time trying to find it. But yeah, it's very cute, simple, and it does kind of feel like a silky material. Um, so probably a silk blend. Next, I found Mother Shorts, and these are actually the Cuffed Short Short in Cry of the Peacock, and they are a size 29, great size. Yeah, very happy. It's always a good day when you find mother. This is new with tags, and it's a seven for all mankind, kind of gauzy, tiered maxi dress in a rust color. Had to pick it up. Let's actually show you guys the shoes. I didn't even show you guys the shoes. So these are like, look like they haven't really been worn. Um, they are Timberlands in a size eight. However, they do have a couple marks on the toes, um, but the actual areas where you usually see wear have none at all. So super excited to pick these up. I kind of wish they were my size because then I would have probably hung on to them, but then again, it's probably a good thing that they weren't in my size because I would have hung on to them. So, very excited about those. These are Vince Camuto knee boots, and they are in the style Madly, M-A-O, or M-A-D, oh God, O-L-E-E. -E. They're super cute. They are a size six and a half. Just a little bit of wear, but not too bad. Just love the details on these though. Very pretty. Next is a shacket that I'm probably going to keep. It's Columbia Women's Large. And it's very cute and hooded. These are Eileen Fisher and they are missing the drawstring. However, this style of pants seems to you know, sell pretty quick. They are a size, hello? Medium. 
Down there, linen. This is Free People and it is a boxy knit crop top. Perfect spring slash fall piece. Maybe even summer on a cool night. Size small. Then we have Cezanne. This is a size 36 and it's just a wool top with a braided v-neck and it looks like three quarter sleeves with little split details so another really good one to find it was just this morning was a really good day the other two days it I found good stuff but it did take a lot more effort you know like I was digging more frantically whereas today it was like oh here's an item oh here's an item which honestly are my favorite days because your back gets tired guys. So this is Wilfred and it's a scarf and it is a wool and cotton blend. Very pretty. I've just now started listing some of the scarves that I've been picking up. I have so many scarves now, um, but I'm happy about it because I know as soon as we hit about August and September, they're gonna start really flying out of my closet and they're just very easy to list. These are AG Adriana Goldschmied, the Pepper, and they are a size 26. They're just cargo style. When I first saw these, I thought they were the Joie Park Skinny that I like picking up, um, but even more excited that they were AG because they're less likely to sit as long for me. So these are just cut from the cloth, and I believe, yeah, they're a high raise, ankle, straight leg, a nice basic bread and butter piece. These are not your daughter's jeans with the little zippers at the hips. It's a size eight. I like the color of these. They're just like a green gray mid-tone. Next we have a white which I didn't see any stains when I checked it over both here at home a second ago and at the bins but Athleta size extra large. Who knows once you get it up <laughs> to list if you'll find anything. But it's just a very cute knit open front cardigan. Then we also have another Athleta. Um, these actually have just a teeny tiny hole right there in the waistband, but I don't think that's going to really deter very many people from purchasing. These are the Double Cozy Karma Jogger in a size medium. They're super heavy very thick and probably very cozy so very excited to find those these are just j crew men's in a size 33 30 just kind of their stretch knit material these are dl 1961 margot in the ankle style. Um, these probably won't get more than, you know, between 15 and 20 for them, but um, when they're in great condition like that, I like to pick them up. This is Silence and Noise, which is just an Urban Outfitters brand in a size small, but I liked the print of it, and I figured this would be a good one to post on both Poshmark and Mercari um, and just make a quick, you know, 12 bucks, 10 bucks. We'll see. <clears throat> These are Toad & Co, also known as Horny Toad, um, which is just an outdoor brand. It's got a cute little, like, not macrame, but like laser cut out detail on the bottom. There are shorts on the interior, and then it does have the adjustable interior waist. Next, we have new tags, ASOS maternity skinny jeans. And I believe, yeah, they're in a plus size as well. So very happy to pick these up. Might sit on them for a little while, but eventually you'll find the right seller. These are just men's Carhartt relaxed fit cargo style pants. 
and they are in a size 38-34, which is a great length. Ah, so this is J. Crew in a size 4, and they're just a wide leg tie front pant, and I believe they're a linen blend as well. And then this is just a bread and butter Lucky Brand top. The last Lucky Brand top I picked up sold very quickly, so I decided to go ahead and grab another one. This one is in excellent condition, and it's just very pretty with the medallion details. Ah. <clears throat> these are J. Jill denim, and I figured I'd give these a try um, just because J. Jill seems to have a little bit of a resurgence right now. They're a slim ankle in a size 14, so another great size pant. Another pair of AG Adriana Goldschmied. These are the Stevie Slim Street, and they are an older style. They've got that red leather patch, but the actual condition of the jeans is awesome. So I figured we'd go ahead with that. Then we have Miss Me's, and these are in a size 30, and they are the signature boot cut. They do have the fleur-de-lis. There's no holes in the back. All of the little studs are here. So these are gonna do very well and probably sell pretty quickly. Ah, I'm losing my stuff, guys. So this is actually cabbie, but one, it's a black and white print, and Hannah likes black and white prints. And two, it's a size medium, and it does have ah, these cute little buttons. And then it kind of gives me some mod 60s vibes. So I figured we'd pick it up and see how it does, even if it only sells for $15.20. I mean, I paid $1.51 for it, so <laughs> you can't argue with it. Uh, this is a new tags Roxy little mini dress, and it is in a red, white, and blue print. And they are little palm tree fronds. So I think it's going to do pretty good. And it is a junior size large. Bread and butter, American Eagle, newer style. Uh, these are a size two in the super high rise and they're heavily distressed. Very cute. Then we have an older Athleta tank top. Um, the size is missing, but it looks to be about a large, um, but we'll take measurements and verify that. This is another so this is Horny Toad, which is the older bit of Toad & Co, but this is just a basic knit skirt with a pocket right here. Um, for women who like the more modest styles, these do well. And I do add that um, keyword modest to the listing. Um, that way, when a woman goes to look for it, my listing pops up. So these are White House Black Market, the Curvy Slim Angle. They are new with tags, which is why I picked them up. They originally retailed for $79. And what's nice is White House Black Market has all of the information on the tag right there. So it's very easy to list. Then we have a Free People Beach funnel neck in a blue heather. Ah, look how long this funnel neck is, guys. Whoa! It's like a whole top on me. <laughs> there is the label and it is not going to tell me the size. It just says two body, but it's very cute. It's got the little raw hem details. This has a stain on the front. However, it's adorable and it's holding horses. There's a little yellow stain. Um, but look at this, it's so pretty. It's embroidered, it's ombre, it's a great color, and it's just a size small mini dress. So if I can get that stain out, I do think that that's gonna sell pretty quickly. 
This is Hey Hey by Anthropology. These are a size eight and they're just a wide leg pant in a linen blend. Very cute. These are Carrots, um, which is an, a horse riding brand, um, and it is kind of a bolo. A lot of the items are for kids. There's also some women's. My daughter actually takes horse riding lessons right now, my older one. So I'm gonna see if these fit her. If not, I will sell them. And, sorry guys. And expect to get... Sorry guys. I'm gonna turn the vibration off. And expect to get, um, you know, around 20, 25 for them. They're in great condition. They've just got a lot of fuzzies on them. This is Anthropology, a Kemi and Kin. I really like the newer stuff that's coming out. I would like, you know, that's not the old, old tags. This is a size large and it's just this big, chunky eyelash knit duster length open front cardigan. This is Carhartt again, relaxed fit. These are a 3632 in black. And I do have the singular pocket right there. Next is another men's piece and this is gonna be the brand Marmot in a double XL. There's a little embroidery on the back. That should be a fairly quick flip. This is super cute. This is a blue and gray button down mini dress, very prairie underground style. And then it's got the little tie that goes around it. It is a linen blend, super cute. And then we have two more items and then we're gonna move on to the next day. So yeah, we've still got two more bags to get through. Told you guys, it's gonna be a large one. So this is just a women's O'Neill jacket, size medium, fleece lined, very cute. Probably won't get more than, you know, 15 bucks for it, but that's okay. Uh, these are Girlfriend Collective biker shorts and the bike shorts by Girlfriend Collective seem to do better than any other style from this brand. They're a size small, they're in excellent condition. Guys, look what I found. Universal standard, new with tags. This is the Elba top. They're the Elba shirt in a size medium. Very cute, simple. This brand does amazing. Um, fabric content is just cotton, nylon, and spandex. So yeah, very excited. This should go pretty quickly. Then we have some Madewell jeans in a size 23, which is tiny. Um, they are the perfect vintage crop jean with a raw hem and a distressed knee. Um, yeah, very excited to see how they do. These are just, whoa, these are just Fabletic shorts. And they have an interior pocket right here, a big one. The tearaway tag is still here. They are from the Power Hold collection, which is one of the only collections I pick up by Fabletics, and they're in a size small. I figure the hot pink color and all of the pockets on these will help them sell fast for summer. So this is just a Victoria's Secret body demi bra in nude. And the size is a 36C. These are Paige maternity jeans in a size 26. And they honestly look like they're like new. Um, they're the Verdugo Ultra Skinny. We still got the crest line down the center. Just great condition. These are older American Eagle high rise shorties. Um, I don't stress about new or old as much on the shorts just because they are gonna get you kind of a lower cost or lower price no matter what because um, they just don't retail for as much. So this is Wilfred and it is 100% silk. It's a double extra small in a window pane plaid. 
very cute. I couldn't find anything wrong with it at the bins, but again, you never know when you're getting it under the light at home. So this is just Mod Ref. However, it is 100% linen. It's just a nice basic tank top. So I figured I'd pick it up um, even if I only get, you know, 10, 15 for it. This is CNC, right? Yeah, CNC California, and it's just a little paint splatter top with the thumb holes. Then we have a pins and needles, which is another Urban Outfitters piece. Um, just kind of, it looks like a argyle cutout knit almost. So I really liked the styling on this, and I do believe it's supposed to be an optional off the shoulder. It's a size small. So I figured I'd pick it up and try it out. <clears throat> this is Carhartt. It's a men's relaxed fit in a size large, just a short sleeve button down. Then we have more a horny toad in a size medium and this is just a layered tank top in like a jersey fabric. This is Madewell and it is a size small. Is it Mabel? No, this is L.L. Bean. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> this is L.L. Bean and it's in a size small. I just really liked the collar on it and the condition is amazing. So I figured I'd pick it up um, and even if it sits for a couple months, it still should do pretty well. Okay, we're on to the next bag. It does have some shoes on the top of it. So one second. Okay, so first pair of shoes is just some born woven espadrilles with a platform and then the leather metallic upper and they are a size hello size seven so they're in excellent condition they do just have a couple little frayed pieces that I can just trim up but that seems to be the only thing wrong with them and then next are these adorable cuties little ankle boots also born in a distressed leather with kind of the western cowboy stitching. I think those should do pretty well. Next is a Playboy for PacSun New York City top. Dun dun dun. I do believe it has a small stain somewhere, but I think I can get it out so should bring a little bit of attention. Playboy has that cult curiosity following. So <laughs> these are Paige in a size 27 and these are also, nope, they're not the Verdugo, the Peg Skinny. So the Peg Skinny, medium wash, jean. This is Victoria's Secret Sport and it's a floral bra and I believe it's a good size. Yeah, so it's a 34 double D. So that should do pretty well. Here is the Madewell sweater. <laughs> um, so this is a size small as well as what the LL Bean one was. And yeah, it's just super cute. Um, it does have a slight bit of fuzzing, but it's not too terrible. I think it's gonna do pretty well. Doesn't appear to be shrunk, it's a size small. And looks like it still is a size small. These are just Hollister leggings. Um, I had to get them though because they have the cute little belt loop right here. And they are skinny with a little patch knee or whole knee and then free hem. Um, you know, probably won't get more than 10 or $15 for them, but they were so cheap and I thought they were cute. And you know, I'm, I'm the person that lists and buys. So if I think it's cute, then, you know, I'm more likely to list it faster. <laughs> So this is Athleta and this is a size small. I think I've sold this before. It's got the little crossover bottom. Yeah, I think it'll do pretty well. It's pretty wrinkled, but that can be fixed pretty easily. These are just STS blue and they have zipper pockets. Um, this brand is sold at Nordstrom. It is just a bread and butter brand though. However, it's not gonna sell for a crazy amount. 
scotch and soda. See you. Size large. Just a knit pale blue top. Um, I couldn't find any flaws on it when I was looking at the bins. What are you made of? Come on. Um, so it is just 100% cotton. And then let me show you where to go. Hello. There is a little charm. Oh, there it is. On the bottom. Not gonna focus, but there's usually a little charm on the shirt and sometimes you'll see that before you see the actual uh, brand tag. So this is just a Victoria's Secret Dream Angels Unlined Retro Dot Lace Bralette or bra. And it's in a size 32 double D. Now we have the skirt that was giving me some mod vibes and it's by Maeve and it's a size two. It's very cute and it is kind of like a corduroy texture. So I think it's actually gonna do pretty well. Just, you know, gotta find the right buyer for that and the right size buyer. These are just American Eagle and again, if you're seeing a trend in this haul, I've just been really liking the little zipper hips. Um, these are a high rise jegging in a size eight. So older style, but in excellent condition. Uh, these are seven for all mankind, the slimmy in a men's 36. And they're just a gray stone wash jean. They don't really look like they've been worn. Then we have another universal standard and this one is 100% cashmere and I couldn't find any flaws at the bins. Um, again, another 30 to $50 for this guy. Maybe a little bit on the low end of the 30 uh, just because it is an extra small, but still a great find. This is a Bill Blass silk scarf. Very cute. Kind of giving me a rockabilly vibe. I think it'll do well. Give me, you know, between 10 and $20, depending on the buyer. This is Forte Cashmere, and it's just a 100% cashmere scarf again. Um, <laughs> it's so soft though, so I had to pick it up. <laughs> then we have this, which is new with tags, and it's an REI co-op button down and somebody cut their retail price off. It's the women's Sahara long sleeve solid short shirt, shirt, not short in peppercorn. It's vented. The sides have stretch, just a nice top. This is J Jill and it is a medium petite. I couldn't pass it up though. It's just that nice gauzy material with tie dye details. So I think it'll do okay. Then we have some Lululemon. And these are a size four um, and they have the reflective at the bottom here. Just a pretty royal blue. Um, they do have a paint mark. We'll see if it comes out. If not, I'm not too worried about it. I still should be able to get between $30 and $40 for this style. I don't remember what the style is called, but I do know that the reflective always seems to do a little bit better than the items that don't have it. This is a Harrods 100% cashmere scarf as well in a charcoal color and it's very thick and soft. Then we have this Eileen Fisher size extra small. I believe it's a silk top. Um, it's got a very interesting, I don't know if it's gonna show up for you guys, but there's little tiny like micro dots throughout the whole thing. So it's gonna be hard to photograph that, but it's intentional. Chest pocket. Let's see. And then we have Beyond Yoga. Brand doesn't do that well for me, but I will pick it up at the bins. Size medium. And they are the 
ombre stripe style. Then we have American Eagle size eight standard. And these are just another super high rise jegging. They're very distressed and they've got a lot of lint on them, but the condition of the actual denim itself is very nice. AG, what style are you? Does it say? These are older. They're the Marshall Slim Trouser. Just like a khaki, chino, business casual pant. These are probably for me. They're just a little Victoria's Secret boxer shorts in a patchwork print. Little shorts and band tees are pretty much all I wear when I'm sleeping. <laughs> uh, so this is just a pink by Victoria's Secret sports bra from the Ultimate Collection with the V scoop. Very cute, size medium. And then this is Trip, and it's a size one, and they are cropped. However, anytime you see Trip NYC, you want to purchase it. It does bring a lot of attention to your closet. And it definitely has a cult following. This is when the emo and goth clothing was fire. So that is all I have for you. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. Let me know that you made it to the end. Um, <laughs> hit subscribe if you like this kind of content. I will be here for you a couple times a week. Next video is going to be a what sold video. Um, and that should be out on Monday or Tuesday. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.